What's up guys, it's Sean with Speedy Joe Small Engine Repair and what we're doing today is we're going to take a look at this edger and get it, try to get it running today hopefully. So I got this for 20 bucks and it says right here 2 horsepower Briggs and Stratton. It's a pretty cool little edger. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. So I... I I'm debating keeping it all as an edger and just fixing it up and I'm debating pulling the engine off and putting on a mini bike something fun so I don't know maybe you guys can let me know in the comments what you think I should do because I'm I'm on the edge right now I'm not sure what I should do but anyways so we're gonna test it out see if it runs if it runs then we are going to go ahead and put a kit in it and go from there all right so first thing i need to do is i want to get this cover off now you guys may not know this but i am disabled so i have a hard time pulling these over so what i'm going to try to do is drill start it and first, I'm just going to spray some gas right down in the carburetor and just test fire it. If it fires, then great. If it doesn't, then I'm going to start troubleshooting a little bit more, looking into the spark, looking into the compression, and seeing exactly what's wrong with it. But hopefully, it'll fire right off and I don't have to do all that. All right. So let me go ahead and get this off and I'll see you guys in just a second. We, uh... About to get this cover off. Come check it out and see what we got. So, if you don't know how to take this cover off, it's pretty simple. You have a bolt right here on the side, other side, and then one on the top. So, that would be these three right here. Looks like they're all the same size. They were uh, 7 sixteenths. And I had to take this little control arm right here. This does the height. Just to get it out of the way. Go. So I had to take this off. This just does the height elevation. It tells it makes the blade go higher or lower. So obviously when I took it off, it went all the way to its lowest setting. Which isn't a problem. Bolt that back up here in a minute. Now... And that's how you just take that off. I mean, it's pretty easy. Now, this one has the full start. I'll probably lube that up a little bit. Make it sound a little bit better. And then it has the starter clutch on it. And it only lets it, lets it spin one way, but not the other way. It's kind of like a ratchet. It kind of works just like a ratchet. It has little beads in there, little ball bearings. And then once it gets spinning, they all spin out and let it spin freely. But... This is how it starts with the pull starter. So, um, let me just get up and get a couple more tools and then we'll see if it'll start. So, one other thing I wanted to point out to you guys is say, say if you find one of these motors, they're junk, right? You can't do anything with it. What I recommend is taking off, you know, as many parts as you can use off of it. But what's really cool about these is you can actually get like a clock set from Hobby Lobby or, you know, whatever a hot arts and crafts store. And what you can do is you can make a little clock out of this right here. So you would just drill through the middle right here. You would take, obviously take out the pull start stuff. And you drill through the middle and you put all the numbers around 12, 6, 9, 3, and you know, put all the numbers in between. And you can actually make a cool little wall hanger clock with it. And, you know, if you have other family members into fixing things, handy handymen, they, you know, they love small engines like, like I do, then it's a great little hobby, little gift for them. But anyways, I just wanted to show you guys that real quick. It's a good idea. So, um, I was doing some editing on the video real quick, and I, I noticed that one of my videos was missing, deleted or something somehow. So... Now, the part that's missing is I went ahead and I, I got this edger started. Um, what I did was I sprayed some gas in the carburetor 
and I spun it over with the drill and it just ran just for a minute till the gas, you know, wore off. So I, I don't know what happened to that video. I don't know if it got deleted or maybe it wasn't recording at the time. Anyways, I just wanted to fill you guys in. You're going to see the next segment. It's me taking off the carburetor and cleaning it off and the gas tank. But I did, I did, I did start it. I sprayed the gas and, and I believe it was actually some carb cleaner I sprayed in there. But it, it popped over and started up for a second and turned off. Now, um, anytime you're doing a small engine repair, a good test to do. I mean, you can throw a spark tester on there. You can uh, throw a compression tester on there. But a good way to test it real quick is just throw some gas right down the throat of the carburetor. Pull it over. If it pops and runs, I mean, that tells you two things right off the bat number one obviously it has spark okay uh, number two it has enough compression to run so you can rule out spark you can rule out compression from there on it's obviously a fuel delivery issue that you're having so you're going to clean out the carburetor so i just want to update you guys that i did do that i don't know what happened to it i apologize but uh get on with the video carburetor off now uh, for those of you who don't know, the carburetor and the gas tank are all together. The carburetor and the gas tank is one. So, um, now all I've done so far is taking this throttle cable off. It was held down right into here. Alright, and it was going through, going through right here. Now, all I did was take that off. So, um, what I need to do now... Is to work on getting the rest of these. Golly, whoever did this really did a bang up job messing it up. So I may may have to get another spring for this. I don't know why. I don't know. I don't even think this is the right spring to it. So really weird. Anyways, there's that one. I'm about to choke and. Uh... choking the throw. Now if you guys look down in here, down into here, it's actually really clean down in there. It's really nice. That's a good sign, I guess. Alright, so, now I just have no idea how I'm supposed to get to this bottom screw right here. This is kind of tricky it looks like to get to. This one right here. If you guys can leave a comment. Yeah, that, that one right there. There's no way. Now the top one's easy. Top one I mean, you can get to. Now I have an idea on how to get that off. might try that in a minute but right now I'm just gonna try to get in there I think I need a I think I should probably use a flat screwdriver what do you guys think all right let's see flat screwdriver big old burly flat screwdriver oh there we go you got it. So you guys may hear my daughter in the background. Let's say hi to her. Ayla! Come say hi to YouTube. What? Come say hi to YouTube. Hi YouTube. She's a cutie. <laughs> So, her teacher, we just had a parent-teacher conference. We just had a parent-teacher conference, and uh, the teacher's like, I don't know what it is with Ayla. She's just running around. It's just like it's rainbows and butterflies for her all the time. 
Yeah, that's Ayla. Uh, rainbow and butterflies for sure. <laughs> with my fingers if I can get my fat hand in there ow I oh, can't really let's, uh, let's see if I can get it with the Phillips head now no oh, this one is just way too pointy Stella Come say hi to YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> you got anything to say to him? Um, that I love you and I do anything you say to you. Do anything you say? Yes. Well, that's that's kind of weird, but okay. <laughs> She loves you, YouTube. You're her favorite brother. <laughs> and also, Ross just does good job for me. And I always love him so much because he's my brother. He's probably talking about me. You know? Yeah. Our uh, lovely cameraman. <laughs> Alright you guys, so we have success. Carburetor gas tank. On one. So let's bring it over here to my bench. I gotta clear off a spot real quick. Clear it out. Now what I like to do is let's go to the dollar store, get a cheap little cookie sheet or something to work on. This just ensures that you don't lose any parts, pieces. Keep some mess all in one place because this one is going to be a mess for sure. All right, so now <laughs> if you ever have old toothbrushes, this is a good use for them. This is what I use them for. So, first of all, we're just going to give this a good clean, soak it down a little bit. This is my uh, ghetto parts cleaner. <laughs> A little bit of an unintended side effect, I guess the paint just came right off. Oh god, the sprained phone. Sprained camera, man. So, not that big of a deal. To me, it just looks even more cleaner. Yeah, finish. We'll finish off and we'll start it back up again. Alright, guys. So, we got the carburetor cleaned off a lot cleaner than I expected it to be. Minus the paint. But, it is what it is. Now, I don't know what kind of paint that was. I'm not taking any risk. It could be lead-based paint. So... I just went ahead and threw some gloves on just for safety. Now I'm just taking out the top two screws on the carburetor so we can take a look. All right. Oh wow, so this is just a straight. All right, so apparently on this one there's no diaphragm or anything I mean, you got a little gasket right here it looks metal so we'll, we'll clean out the gas tank as you can see look down in there it is not very nice looking so give that a clean and we will take out this jet right here and spray some carb cleaner through there and see how she runs hopefully all right so we're back um now i got the carburetor cleaned out if you check it out it's very clean all the paint 
came off of it like I was using paint thinner. I don't know what that was all about. But anyways, um, we're going to go ahead and try it out. I got the linkages all hooked back up. Got it jetted. May have to adjust that a little bit, but it's no big deal. Now I'm going to go ahead and again, I, I drill start it. You can do it however you wish to do it and do it at your own risk. Um, but it's an easy way for me to do it. And I just need to plug in this drill real quick. Give me one second. All right, here we go. All right. All right, so we're going to go ahead and test run it now. See if we got fire in it. <laughs> Alright, let's try it again. I feel like the alarm is adjusting it. It sounded good when it first started. Alright, give me that drill real quick. <laughs> Puff of the white smoke. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we got it one more time. the choke in or not up there dude put it like in more in the middle okay Ish. there we go really mm -hmm. okay, let's see. Maybe I'm just giving it way, way too much. I'm just going to screw it in. I know what it, the adjustment was to begin with. I think that's what it is. Okay, we just want to do it just until it seats. There it is. Okay, so. Quarter. One. Half. One. Okay, let's try it again. See how it feels like that. All right, well, I'm gonna mess with this. I'll be back in a second. Everything looks good. That's good. You can hear it safe. Let's try and cut it off. 
<laughs> he has an exhaust going right in his face. All right. So, yeah, as I said, that belt is done. But, I mean, I'm just going to put it back together and it'll be ready to go. Thanks for watching, guys. So, we'll get that off. I've never taken one of these apart to replace the belt, but pretty sure what I need to do, i put this back in here so I don't lose it. It's just a good idea when you take things apart, if you can put it back kind of where it goes, that way you'll be sure you don't lose any nuts or bolts, especially in here. I got a dirt floor, so any nut or bolt that hits that thing is gone forever. It doesn't matter if you watch it hit the ground, it's gone. So, let's clear away some of this crap. There we go. Just kind of clean it up a little bit. Now I'm going to get some degreaser, spray it down with some degreaser, and then, like I said, power wash it. Um, also, I know this has a grease fitting right here. So we're going to get some more grease. I have a grease gun. I need to get some more grease and I'll pump this full of grease so the next owner 